what's up guys it's cameron here back with another video if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload i haven't actually sat down and filmed a video in so so long you guys i feel like i've just had so much pre-filmed content done or i've been doing vlogs or shower routines so i haven't really got to sit down in a while and just you know do a haul review video any of that kind of thing so i'm really excited to be filming this video today i actually am leaving to head back to my college apartment in a few days it's currently wednesday august 18th and i leave on friday august 20th so as i'm packing i decided to kind of get together some things that i recently purchased within the past month and do a hygiene haul for you guys so this is kind of a little bit of a collective haul i have collected these products over the past month maybe a little more than the past month and these are just some products that i really wanted to show to you guys that i haven't really shown on my channel and there are a lot of products you guys i felt like i hadn't bought stuff much recently but after i got these products together i was like yeah i was definitely wrong about that i've gotten so much stuff over the course of time i just don't really get a lot of stuff at once which is the difference from how i was shopping before um which is why i haven't even done like a shop with me in forever because i don't really do that anymore i kind of just pick things up as i go but moral of the story i have a lot of stuff to show you guys so before we actually hop on into the video i do have a giveaway that i'm going to be announcing at the end of this video so make sure to watch to the end of the video if you want to enter the giveaway i have some really cool hygiene products that i'm going to be giving away so make sure to just stay tuned to the end so i'm just gonna get on into the haul because i'm excited to show you guys all of these things and without further ado let's just get started okay so the first things that we're gonna start with today are some perfumes that i have to show you guys so i'm really excited about these so the first one that i have to show you guys is actually from olfactory in new york city which they actually invited me and natalie grace if you guys know her on youtube they invited us to their store in soho new york city to create our own custom fragrance so you guys i actually created this fragrance fragrance on my own. I do have a vlog going up within the next few days. It's going to be showing my experience making the fragrance, how everything worked. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But if you guys want to go and get yourself an olfactory fragrance, you can actually create your own custom fragrance online if you guys want to go do that. I will have a discount code in the description for you guys. For the next month or so, you can use my discount code for orders over $50 to get 15% off your order. You also can use the code to buy the custom fragrance that I actually made myself. So if you want to buy my specific custom fragrance, and put your name on it or whatever it might be you guys can also use the code for that and the link in the description for that as well will take you directly to that fragrance which is on their website you can use the code for a month on any orders over $50 but after about a month or so you can only use the code for my specific fragrance so make sure to keep that in mind but I really do love this it smells absolutely beautiful and it's so long lasting I actually wore it for the first time last night I wore it out and it lasted so so long and it smells so mature so pretty and I really like it because I feel like it's a very versatile versatile scent where you can wear it out you can wear it at night you can wear it in the morning you can wear it any season it smells absolutely beautiful so i'm so happy about this thank you olfactory for inviting me to create this fragrance this video is not sponsored by them by the way you guys but i did want to let you guys know that you can purchase this if you want to information will be in the description so yeah this is one thing that i've recently picked up another perfume that i recently picked up is actually a zara perfume this is the zara red vanilla perfume it is a huge huge bottle i think it was like under 25 dollars and this just smells so 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 good it smells so sexy mature like it's a very musky vanilla scent and i really do like this i think it just smells so sexy and so expensive and zara fragrance is actually really really good i definitely recommend checking them out if you want a fragrance that's a little bit on the cheaper side you don't want to buy a high-end fragrance zara has some really nice ones and the packaging is absolutely beautiful so i picked that up recently so i'm really growing my mix bar collection out here you guys i did finally get cloud musk from mix bar for the longest time it was sold out every single time i went and it was so annoying i kept picking up other scents but a few weeks ago i was finally able to get cloud musk at target if you don't know mixed bar perfumes are 20 dollars perfumes that are sold at target i believe they're actually 18 dollars, and they are really really great perfumes they have gorgeous scents and they're pretty long lasting for their price cloud musk smells amazing this was the like super hyped up one this and vanilla bourbon but especially this because this one was sold out literally at every target i went to for the longest but i finally was able to pick it up and i'm so excited about it so i really love this and going along with that i actually yesterday just picked up another mix bar perfume so it's still in the box um i got this at target also and this is the glass rose scent i actually picked this up because i will be doing a rose shower routine soon so i wanted a rose perfume even though i'm sure i have a perfume with rose notes in it but i wanted one like specifically rose scented so i got this one and it actually smells so so good i smelled the tester in the store um and i really do like it so if you like rose scents this is a really really pretty rose scent and now you guys can kind of just see what the box looks like from mix bar because I have it 
here um so i'm excited that i picked this up i think the only scent that i don't have in the perfume is wood elixir but i do have wood elixir in the body spray and hairspray i think it's called like body mist and hair mist but i don't like it enough to get it in the actual perfume so yeah so moving on i'll just show you guys two more things i picked up at target yesterday at target they were having a buy one get one 25 off for ollie vitamins and garden of life vitamins so i decided to pick up two packs of these probiotics and i only got two because of the sale but these are my favorite probiotics so the garden of life women's daily care 40 million 40 billion cfu probiotics um <laughs> I like these ones. I also like a few other brands, but these ones are some of my favorite ones. Um, and I've been out of probiotics for a few weeks now, not gonna lie. So I needed to pick up some more. Let's move into the exciting stuff that I have to show you guys. It is a lot, okay? Really quickly, I will show you guys two products that I got from this brand, Frosted Beauty. It's a small business. She actually sent these products to me. Um, I do have a discount code for you guys. I've mentioned it in a vlog before, but I did just briefly want to show you guys a few of the body care products that she sent me. So we have the whipped body body scrub and the fruity loop scent and I wanted to quickly just show you guys how pretty that is like the colors you can't even see how pretty it is but it literally smells like fruit loops straight up and then she also sent over the frosted beauty body buttercream and the fruity loop scent as well and this i actually tried on my arm and it's super super nice of whipped body cream um and i also love that i'm trying to move through things pretty quick you guys but she also sent over the fresh mint and water lily luxe soap so it's like a bar soap which is really nice and then we also have the watermelon sugar frosted soap which is so cute it literally looks like a watermelon and i'm so excited to use these i haven't actually opened them um she did send some other things but i'm kind of trying to stick to mainly body care in this video because like hygiene products but she also sent a bubble bag which pretty much you put a bar soap in here and it kind of like you can use it as like a scrubber with the bar soap inside so that's really cool so thank you to her for sending me those so i finally was able to pick up this crest body wash i think this is the only one that i didn't have in my collection but i saw it on amazon kind of paid a little bit more than its original price i think i paid like ten dollars for this when these originally retail around four dollars but this is the caress brazilian gardenia and coconut milk floral oil essence body wash and this is definitely my favorite scent from caress after trying all of them this one is so so beautiful it just smells so like fresh and it smells so clean but it also smells sweet and florally i don't even know how to explain it but it is actually gorgeous and if you ever see this anywhere i highly recommend picking it up it's my favorite caress one even more than like the brown sugar one i absolutely love this one and it's the most beautiful packaging too so i'm super excited that i was finally able to pick this up i did get it on amazon if it is still available on amazon i will link it below i'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys as well you guys know i want to make sure that you're able to get these things too so i'm trying my best to link them so these actually probably won't be linked because these are products that you will find at like marshall's tj maxx burlington stores like that i think i found all of these oh also home goods all of these are from home goods because my sister did work at home goods this summer she doesn't work there anymore and she was able to pick all of these up for me at home goods however they are available at marshall's tj maxx we have some onyx bathhouse body scrubs so if you are on tiktok you probably have been seeing people using these like crazy lately i mean not any more than tree hut but you know i got some onyx bathhouse ones my sister was nice enough to pick these up for me the first one that i have is i need vitamin c foaming body scrub with coconut and sea salt now that i think about it two of them are actually from marshall's i picked up myself this one was one of them but this actually reminds me of sunscreen like it really does but it smells very salty still like i like it, it just smells really fresh and summery and just kind of reminds me of the beach and the colors is so pretty like i love how it's like ombre and let me just tell you guys with the onyx bathhouse body scrubs you definitely need to run it underwater because it's super super thick it's not like runny i mean like tree hut i wouldn't say all of them are runny like they're thick but it's very different than tree hut where like tree hut feels very sugary very granulated it spreads apart easier this is more thick where everything is like kind of together so you have to run it underwater to get it to spread apart a little bit on your skin but these leave your skin feeling so smooth and they don't feel too rough on your skin so if you feel like tree hut scrubs may feel too rough i personally think that these aren't super rough but this one i really do like it's good for the summertime my sister picked me up this one from home goods it is the sweet like honey one and i honestly just really like the colors of this one and it smells oh i this one's not even open i haven't even opened it yet so i don't want to open it yet but it's cute i don't know so i don't want to open it yet because i'm about to like pack stuff up to leave so things that aren't open right now i'm not going to open until i get back to my apartment but this one i have used um i picked this one up at marshall's this is the walking on Sh sunshine one this is an orange blossom with vitamin c and it just smells super citrusy it actually kind of reminds me of citronella like what you use to keep bugs away but 
you'd think that you wouldn't like that in like a body scrub but it honestly smells really good and i love citrusy scents so i really like this as well then we have the infamous champagne wishes one this is absolutely amazing you guys i have like a floater in my eye i feel like oh my god because my lashes but this one smells absolutely amazing um my sister definitely used it because i know i did not use that much so she definitely dug into this as well which i don't care she picked it up for me so shout out to her but it literally smells so good it doesn't smell like pink champagne from Triha or champagne toast from bath and body works it's a very more subtle champagne scent it's not super super sweet so i really do like this um and it's super pretty as well so next from home goods as well i have the mermaid goals one i don't know what made them come up with the name mermaid goals i didn't oh i guess i did open this one it like really barely has a smell like it's so so subtle it doesn't really say what the scent is oh cocoa plus lime coconut and lime i'm assuming i guess i can kind of smell the coconut I don't know it's super subtle but colors are really pretty so i'm excited to dig into that one as well so next up moving on from the onyx bathhouse body scrubs i actually picked up a new dr bronner's baby castile soap if you've been watching my channel for a while you know i absolutely love this as a base clean in the shower and i have been out of it for probably two months now i finished it back in june it was in my last empties video i believe oh no it wasn't in my last it's gonna be in my next empties video which will be probably coming sometime in september but i love this so much it's an amazing base clean i never can go for the smaller bottle of this i always have to get the big one because i go through this so so fast i think i got this one at target no i got this at Harmon face values values if you guys know what that is um that's another store that i'm pretty sure they only have in like the tri-state area so let me know if you know what Harmon face values is i've mentioned this about like multiple stores like christmas tree shop mandy's like those are stores that you don't really find everywhere but my people who live in probably like new york pennsylvania new jersey connecticut you probably have somewhat of an idea of what these stores are so let me know if you know what Harmon face face values because I do get a lot of my hygiene products from there. Moving on, I got this Freeman Hydrating Body Scrub in the Strawberry Milk Scent. This is from Five Below, and honestly, I liked it, but it really didn't exfoliate my body very well, and it was very, like, creamy to the point where, like, it was hard to kind of spread out. Like, you did need to add water to it as well, like, kind of like the Onyx ones, but I didn't really feel, feel like it did much, and I'm not crazy about the scent of this at all, um, but I used it for a strawberry shower routine, which will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. It was, like, $5, so $4, I think, so, I mean, if you want to try it out, if you want, like, a cheap an expensive body scrub i mean you could try it it's at five below pretty sure they have other scents there too so we actually have a tree hut scrub this is the tree hut tahitian vanilla bean if you watched my last empties video you saw that i finished this back in like may so of course i had to buy a new one because i absolutely love this scent so i picked this up at ulta on their website and i love tahitian vanilla bean from tree hut. that's one bag we have a whole other bag behind me so oh my god Let's move along with the Tree Hut trend. So, of course, I had to pick up one of Tree Hut's new scents. It, I actually mentioned these in one of my recent vlogs, but right when I heard that they were released in stores, I went to my store and I picked them up. So we have Margarita Citron from Tree Hut, and this honestly just smells like a margarita. It's this beautiful green color. It is a very subtle scent, but it definitely smells like limes. I mean, I like it. I'm not, like, super crazy about it, but I think that the color is beautiful, and so is the packaging. Going along with that, we also have Desert Haze, which I am a obsessed with this is probably one of my new favorite tree hut scrubs it smells identical to into the night from bath and body works it literally smells amazing like identical to into the night and it does have raspberry extract in it and into the night does have a very strong raspberry note um but this smells super like musky super perfumey so if you have this and you want a scent to pair it with pair it with into the night from bath and body works everybody's been saying it like literally everybody knows this smells just like it so yeah and also you guys i have like freaking three of these because tree hut sent me one to my college apartment and then they were like i was dming them on instagram and they were like oh do you still have the same address and i was like no i'm living like home for the summer so they were like they sent me so when they sent me another package to my current house i then found out from my roommate that this showed up in my apartment so now i have three of them because they actually sent one to my apartment and to my house um so there's that but they also sent this to my house in the package with desert haze i actually had dm them asking if they had any marula and jasmine scrubs laying around because I would buy it off of them because you guys know I love Marula and Jasmine and I've been looking everywhere for a new one and it's discontinued so Tree Hut was nice enough to actually send me one in the mail and I'm so freaking happy to have this back in my collection I actually still have it in my collection at school but there's like it's like watery at the bottom there's no more like scrub in it but I kept the package of course because like I love it and I thought I would never get it in my hands again but we have it 
it's just amazing like literally i don't know what it is that i love about it so much it just smells so so clean and just oh i love it like it's just like nostalgic at this point because this was one of my first tree hut scrubs i ever tried tropical mango was the first one i ever tried and then my friend who i actually went to high school with was like oh my god i also love the tree hut scrubs you have to try the marula and jasmine one and this is back when i mentioned tree hut in one of my like super old videos before i even collected hygiene products i did like a beauty favorites video or something and i showed my tropical mango and she was like pick up marula and jasmine Jasmine. and ever since I got that one it was my favorite I went through so many of them and then tree hut hit tiktok and it started selling out and then they discontinued this scent so I'm so happy to have it back in my collection shout out to tree hut for that I don't even want to like touch it because I like I'll never get it again you know but I will I'll just like use it sparingly next up we have this body shop strawberry body yogurt I got this at Ulta it's a little bit expensive but a little bit really goes a long way this will also be featured on my strawberry shower routine I don't love strawberry scents I feel like they never do strawberry right any brand either the strawberry scent smells too artificial or it smells like super like milky and kind of like rotten in a way kind of like this i don't even like want to be mean but like this isn't horrible it does smell fruity um but it definitely smells artificial but i really like the body shop body yogurts i love the formula and i think that they work just so amazing they're so moisturizing and they're very lightweight perfect for summertime so i am a fan of that i'll definitely use it but i'm not crazy about strawberry so next up we have a little shower tool i got this off amazon thinking that it would be similar to these silicone body brushes that you see on tiktok that you guys all know i use with like the long things um but it would be like a stick one so i could use it for my back but it's a little bit different than i expected it is a little bit flat if you can tell um so i haven't really used it yet but i'm excited to try it out at least i won't have to worry about it collecting bacteria needing to be thrown out or anything so i will let you guys know what i think about this once i use it but i got that off amazon another bath tool we have is this silicone body brush which is actually what I saw on TikTok and you're like supposed to put the soap in this like pocket and then you press it and it comes out and I'm gonna link it below for you guys but I'm gonna tell you not to buy this just get a regular silicone body brush I don't know why I felt the need to get this so much I think it would work a lot better as like a dish sponge which I think it was originally meant for just because it's pointless to have because when I pour my body wash I'm gonna pour it on top and I feel like a lot goes to waste when you use this so I wouldn't really recommend it and I don't really like how the bristles are they're not like as flexible if that makes sense so next up we have the dove zero percent aluminum sensitive deodorant i actually bought these in a pack of three off of amazon i brought one back to my apartment with me when i went back um in july and then i have one in my drawer and this is just one that hasn't been opened yet so i just figured i'd show you guys this one really quick and if you've been watching my channel you know that, that i do use aluminum free deodorant and that i really love the dove ones especially the sensitive ones so yeah another deodorant that i picked up recently that i haven't used yet is the secret aluminum free rose and geranium deodorant and i did pick this up for an upcoming rose shower routine i don't see this often and i saw it at cvs and i was like you know what let me just grab it while i'm here so i got this i love the secret aluminum free deodorant as well the difference between the dove and the secret is that the dove is a little bit of like a jelly consistency while this is like a regular powdery deodorant type of thing so yeah we still have so much more in this bag you guys oh my god it's crazy so the next thing that i have is this pacifica strawberry peach body wash i finally picked up a pacifica body wash and of course picked this up for my strawberry shower routine i think i do like this a little bit better than your typical strawberry scented product just because the strawberry mixed with the peach doesn't make it smell as artificial um it kind of smells a little bit more fruity and just like nice i don't know i like it i'm not crazy about it it is a very good body wash it lathers up nice but it's not anything crazy it literally costs like 15 dollars and would I pay $15 for this again? I don't know, unless it was like a crazy good scent, but you know, it did what it needed to do, so. Next up, I bought like a huge, huge pack of exfoliating gloves from Amazon. Um, these are only three of them. I have one in the shower, um, and then I have some that I'm giving away, and I give away if you guys keep watching until the end of the video. Along with that, I bought a pack of these like wash rag net things. I haven't used one yet, so I can't really like comment on them, but um, there's like five in this pack or six in this pack can i count five so the next thing i got is actually from something spilled in here but this was from tj maxx or marshall's actually and this is the amnh raspberry vanilla boobies tightening and lifting polish i think it's supposed to be like a dupe of the um truly beauty one i've never tried the truly beauty one so i figured i would get this one because it's like literally so much cheaper um and it's pretty it smells nice but i haven't tried it yet so once i do i'll let you know if it works something spilled all over it i don't know what spilled but my hands are soapy so it might have been this like i'm thinking maybe something came out of this next up i actually purchased this when i did the live instagram live with 
Tree Hut, but I picked up the Moroccan Rose Post Shaving Soothing Mist from Tree Hut. This was bought on Ulta's website. I haven't actually used this one yet, but I have used their Post Shaving Mist in the Coconut Lime scent before, and it does really work. Like, it is a soothing product. It makes your skin look glowy and feel nice and smooth after shaving. So now I have it in the Moroccan Rose scent. So I actually picked this up at Victoria's Secret a few weeks ago. This is the Victoria's Secret Almond Blossom and Oat Milk Comfort Fragrance Mist, and this is from the Natural Beauty line. I was shocked to see that they dropped a new scent, which is Almond Blossom and Oat Milk. I am going to be doing an oatmeal scented shower routine pretty soon, so I thought that this would go really well, which is why I picked it up, and I would love to pick up the other products from this collection as well, like the body wash and the scrub, eventually when they go on sale, but these... It was like on sale, but not really. It was $12, which is expensive, so yeah. Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's looking for the Brazilian nut butter, and of course I didn't find it. It was sold out, but I did get the Trader Joe's coconut body butter, and the formula is really nice. However, if you do put too much on your skin, it will start pilling, which means like the um, cream like breaks apart on your skin. You can see like little white specks, so definitely use a little, little bit. This is a pretty coconut scent. It is a little bit of a fruity coconut, but... It's more of like a creamy coconut oil type of scent. It smells kind of like shea butter, which it does have shea butter in it. So I like it. It's cool. Cute packaging. A lot in, a, in this container and it was a good price. I don't even remember how much, but I think it was under $5. Going along with that, I got another Trader Joe's body care product. This is their moisturizing cream shave in the Honey Mango scent. I cannot really smell it because it doesn't twist off the top and I haven't tried it yet. But once I try it, I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm always down to try new shaving creams. I did want to find their strawberry and lemon sugar scrub there, but it was sold out as well so maybe i'll buy it on mercari one day going along with that i picked up on amazon the skin to mint strawberry tangerine twist and the moisturizing shave gel i've tried skin to mint shave gels before i've been using them for literally years before i used any other brand and i got this scent for my strawberry routine so i'm literally spoiling the whole video i'm gonna make you guys so excited to see it this video is definitely gonna go up before that one though so you're just gonna have to stay tuned here's one of my other desert haze scrubs that i actually had in the bag so. So I actually got this sent to me as PR, but I figured I would show it really quick in the video. This is the Fenty Skin Buff Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. This is actually amazing. It is such a good body scrub. I mean, I would never put it past Fenty. It is so, so good. A little bit goes such a long way, and it leaves your skin feeling so smooth. So I definitely recommend trying it. I'm so grateful that they sent it to me. Thank you, Fenty Skin, for sending me this. Um, Shout out to you, Rihanna. <laughs> but I'm so happy. I really like it. So I saw this bar soap at Big Lots, and I didn't have it, so it's the correct botanicals lotus and red clay bar soap figured i'd pick it up haven't tried it yet this is what it looks like along with that i got their caress shea butter and brown sugar two-in-one exfoliate and nourish bar soap they came in packs of three um i will be giving some away at the end of this video but these are cool i like the smell of the brown sugar um body wash so i figured why not get the bar soap then on amazon i got a four pack of the olay strawberry and mint body wash um or bar soaps one is already in my shower um but these literally smell amazing you can smell them through the box and then when you open the box, it's such a strong smell. Like, I could smell it in my whole room. The strawberry and mint scent from Olay is amazing. I need to actually get the body wash because I'm not a fan of the actual Olay bar soap as much as I am of the body wash. So, I need to get this scent in the body wash because I don't really like the, like, formula of the bar soaps. But it smells amazing. Definitely recommend. The strawberry and mint is actually, like, doesn't really smell minty. It just smells more of, like, a fresh strawberry scent. Which, as I said, most brands don't do strawberry scents well. Like, they make them too artificial. So, I think adding the mint in there actually made the strawberry scent smell less artificial you know it just made it smell like a very fresh strawberry scent so so another product that i actually picked up when i did the live with tree hut was a tahitian vanilla bean moisturizing shave oil i have the shave oil in moroccan rose and coconut lime i wanted the tahitian van vanilla bean for so long and i love tree hut shave oils they are so so good they leave your skin feeling so smooth and they give you such a clean and close shave so if you are someone who can shave with an oil i know some people need to really see what they're doing um but if you're someone who can shave with an oil i recommend these they don't clog your razor i always get that question um i love them i figured i would briefly just show you guys some stuff that i got from the christmas tree shop which i've actually shown in a vlog before and a lot of you said you did know what the christmas tree shop was which was surprising because it's another store that isn't really around much but i was able to find two super rare tree hut products there i got the tree hut gel body washes in moroccan rose and coconut lime they're super super liquidy and i don't know if it's because they're old or because that's just the formula but i used the coconut lime one in the shower it was cool didn't do anything to my skin so it must be fine and it's cool because it does have like coconut flakes in it and this one has rose petals so I think that's really cute and if you ever see these pick them up because they're pretty rare products I know sometimes Amazon sells them but 
Um, and these are some rare Olay body washes that I saw at the Christmas tree shop. So we just have the Aromatic Orchid one, the Daisy Fresh one, and the Rose and Milky White one. And these are just the Olay Refreshing Body Washes. And they're actually like pretty small body washes. I wouldn't consider them miniature. So like this is a miniature body wash next to it. But like it's definitely not the size of a real body wash. Like I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to because like look at that. So I don't know. That was a pretty cool find, I guess. I haven't used any of them yet, but you know. And along with that, I found two Nivea ones. And it's funny because somebody actually told me that Nivea in their country, which I don't remember what country it was, but whatever country they said they were from, they said that these are actually the regular size of the Nivea body washes. But when I saw these, I was like, these are so adorable. They're like literally mini ones um, because in the US, our Nivea body washes are like huge. So when I saw these, I got them just for the size. So I'm assuming Christmas tree shop and like stores like that, they get like products from other countries because there was a lot of like dove products that were from other countries big lots gets those too people were literally coming at me in a shop with me video once because i th said they looked fake apparently they're from other countries so that's kind of what christmas tree shop gets i guess but we just have the nivea caring shower cream and this is just the rose and almond oil one and then this one is love splash aquatic scent one haven't used them yet but i'll show you guys kind of another size comparison they're not mini but they're like medium size which i think is cool and i think they're good for traveling if you want like a body wash for a whole family because that would definitely work and it's not super mini where you can literally like go through it and like by yourself you know which is like more like something like this which is the caress evenly gorgeous one and it's a mini one this is actually the same scent as the brown sugar ones but it's just called evenly Gor gorgeous that's the old name for it so to finish off this haul oh what is this? Oh, this is just a Body Fantasies Pink Grapefruit Fantasy Fragrance Hand and Nail Cream. This was also from Christmas Tree Shop. Nothing exciting there. But lastly, just to finish this off, this was at the bottom of the bag. I just have my Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Beauty Bar. And this is like a cucumber green tea type of scent. It was in my shower routine video. And I think this came in a pack of three. One is in the shower. And then the other one is I don't even know where. But that's pretty much everything I got. My bed is literally a disaster now. But if you guys made it this far in the video, we actually have a giveaway in this video. I honestly have been wanting to do a giveaway for so long. I wanted to do it when I hit 10K. And I've just been so busy. So I figured I would just do a giveaway now. I've been collecting products for months. So we're going to do a little giveaway where there's going to be two winners. I will show you guys the products that I have for the giveaway. So each winner is going to be receiving two pairs of exfoliating gloves one silicone body brush, a caress shea butter and brown sugar body wash, a tree hut scrub. So you're either going to win frosted sugar cookie from tree hut or you're going to win sugared fantasy from tree hut. And then you're each also going to be winning two caress shea butter and brown sugar two in one exfoliate and nourish bar soaps. But the way to enter this video is super, super simple. All you need to do is comment down below what your most used hygiene product was this summer, like what your favorite hygiene product was that you were always gravitating towards. It could be a body wash, a lotion, a bar soap, a deodorant, a fragrance mist, a perfume, literally anything you guys want. One product down below that was like your holy grail. Also, make sure that you leave your Instagram account down below as well so that I can contact the winners. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will be checking when I go to DM you. If you don't have an Instagram, you also can still enter the giveaway but you are going to need to comment an email address because last time I did a giveaway it was really hard to contact the winner so we're gonna make it easy this time so if you don't have an Instagram comment your email address down below and yeah that is how you're gonna win this giveaway thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope that you guys all enjoyed it if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys